Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority, beat the smack out of the Washington Brotherhood, and then, uh, yeah, figure out what we're going to do next. Right now, I'm before I get started, I want to talk about Kaiser's Legion just because they're technically still at war with Yampa, but we got lucky with them going to war with Yampa. Mostly because Kaiser can't even touch them. So, because Kaiser can't kill Yampa, they can't, I think, go to anyone else and kill them. So that's actually pretty good for us. Uh, but yeah, there's been a lot of comments, and I love reading your comments, just reading your feedback and thoughts and opinions on stuff like that, so. Um, right now, we're still in the war with the, what's the Washington Brotherhood. My infantry are trying to move as fast as possible, trying to take all these enemy lands. Right here, my goal is to cut these, some forest divisions off, and just, you know, get rid of them. While my power armor down here is just, it's gotta go ham. There's no doubt about it. I need you to move, like into here. You know what? You come up to Beaver Creek or something. Just, I need you guys to go fast because really, I think it's Port Maw that if I could take Port Maw, everyone else collapses. Because they have 18 divisions, sure. That's roughly the same number as the Washington Brotherhood, but I think Port Maw would be a good target to get. Ooh. Nice. I really want you guys to cut these guys off. I need a lot more manpower, and I need some more divisions. Now, I've always said that, but, you know... It's not, never untrue. Good. If we could, I, oh yeah, you probably can't kill them there. Yeah, don't do that. Hmm. I want to cut these guys off, but there's just too much supply for me to not be able to do anything. Oh, if you can't take that, that's fine. Just hang on for now. I need all my infantry to take this area out. Uh, instead of you going down there, I want you to come over here or something. Because I don't want to get these guys encircled. Because it looks like they might... Ooh, remember the oil rig. Across the nation, flags are flown at half-mast today in honor of President Richardson. And the brave men and women of the Enclave whose lives were taken in a tragic terrorist attack in on the United States government's redoubt on the Poseidon oil rig. A center of biological research and aid programs, the oil rig was cruelly destroyed by terrorists who blew up its clean, efficient nuclear reactor. President Grant has decreed today, Remembrance Day, a national holiday to mourn those among us whose lives were cruelly taken by raiders, vandals, and terrorists. This is Enclave Radio promising you that they are gone, but not forgotten. Nice. We got a crap ton of political power. Um, also, uh, we have Find Ready Power Grid, so move camera to New Reno, in which it should be now a core again, because earlier, last episode, it wasn't a core. Nice! Turned on. We did, I think we lost like five electricity for that, but... Hey, I'll take more political power if it's possible, or more manpower, because we're currently out. Alright, 15. I need to go to conscription, extensive conscription, which only gives me 5% more for some debuffs. Ooh, can I afford, I can afford that for consumer goods, yeah, let's do that. That's fine with me. Uh, just power armor, I need you to move a little bit faster than this. I really, really do. But if we could do something, here, we're going to do this. We're going to try to small encirclement if we can. I want you to come this... Oh, uh, actually, we can't. No. Hmm. I was thinking about encircling that division, but I didn't see that red line there. That wouldn't really work out very well for us. Hmm. Yeah. Really, your entire line should be down here. I should really break up my power armor divisions. Just because... It's a bit much. But, whatever. Alright. Anything else? Recruitment drive... More mobilization, less weekly war support. Restart movie industry. Hmm. We might do that. Uh, let's see. Bone Pickers rejoin society. Send couriers to the Cyclops tribes, which is over here. Eastport becomes a federal commonwealth. They become my puppet, but I might be at war with the Cyclops. And that wouldn't be very much fun. Bone Pickers rejoin society. I want both. I don't know if I should do either one. I'm going to wait again, like I said before. Uh, there's really not much I can do here. We got more population now, which is good. Ship designer is pretty useless for me. Logistics. I don't really use artillery. Air superiority is okay. Uh, let's see. Division attack on core territory. That might be nice. Chief of the Air Force. Close air support attack and defense. Five. Three. We got 3% here, but 5% over here. That's 200 political power, though. Uh, let's do that, because I could always use more and more and more since our guys are doing okay. They're doing all right. Uh, I could get more gunships, but I got a little bit more uh, manpower now. Nice. This will definitely come in handy. Do that. Just keep doing this area up north. That'd be great. Uh, infantry. 
I need y'all to like hurry up. Like, like no joke. Oh, it's pause. No wonder you're not hurrying up. Uh, advanced energy weapons, very nice, very nice. We're starting to run out of things to research. Ooh, Gauss. I can't do Gauss, Tesla, Plasma, because those will get unlocked later on. Um, let's see. Oh, how about power armor stuff? We could get more defense initiative. Sounds like fun. It's only one percent, but one percent is better than no percent. Ooh, do we have nothing over here? Okay. Oh, the power armor is moving in. Actually. Cut these guys off if you can. If we come that direction, you stall this guy out. We're going to surround that one division and get rid of him. Uh, you just finish this area off and you can come down here if you can. Okay, guys, seriously, I need you to move, like, lickety split. Like, no stone shall be unturned. Will be left unturned. Like, everyone is just going to just bamboozle you. Ooh, uh, oh, no, don't leave. No, don't leave, baby. No. Uh, come this way. Uh, if you need to, you can probably come over here. Yeah, just... Basically, we're going to circle that one division. Uh, let's see. You can get up to the mall. That'd be great. Doubt you can, but whatever. <clears throat> just don't let the infantry get encircled. Just crush everyone up here. That'd be great. You got pushed out this way, which sucks. Anti-tank. Nice. Recon could help. I don't have any logistic companies. For my infantry... And I will go over your comments very soon. I did say I would. So I will do that. Yeah, we need some logistic companies probably eventually. Uh, ooh. Let's do anti-tank. Follow it up with... Ooh, stim packs. I like that. Super goods. Missile launchers. Machine guns. Minigun. Oh my goodness. I'll do that just because we can almost immediately get the effects of that. Oh, these guys, these guys are cut off. That's awesome. That's good. Uh, just take as many supply bases as you possibly can. Joshua Graham, no, nothing over here of real interest. Awesome. We circle another division. Great. Get, get those guys out of here. As we're getting attacked in the butt. Uh, since you're over here, you might as well do this. If you could break in a port mall from the north, that actually would be really good. Oh, actually, this is not good over here. I need all of you to come back over here. And do that. Because I can't afford to get all 24 infantry divisions stuck over there. So, entertainment broadcast, not bad. More daily political power and less consumer goods for other people. All for me. All for my people. Uh, defeat Axis of Evil, we'll do that later on. Requisition of resources could be good, but I'm going to wait for that. Rebuilding the Pacific Northwest might be good. Hmm, what else we got? Maybe some more military things. Institute an emergency draft. More recruitable population sounds good to me. Followed up with anything here. Restart movie industry. Well, I'm not making any more military factories at the moment. Which sounds like a big no-no to me. Uh, let's see. 30, 30. There's only 30%. 50's over here, but it's already been used. Well, if it has to be 30, then so be it. Hmm, you get two more. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, good. Our power armor is actually moving up. That's good. That's really good. Oh, they actually got pushed out. Well, Port Ma's going to die, so. Nice. This isn't going bad, but it's not going great. So that's what I'm going to do. I should really split this up into two armies, but I'm not going to do that. You half, come over here. And just go immediately. You half, you rebel militia... Come down here, and do that. That's the best what we can do right now. So this way, half of them are going to finish off this territory up here. Other half will finish off the Washington Brotherhood as we are trying to mop up Port Ma down here. Yeah, keep pushing them in. Teach Port Ma a lesson. Um, You guys come up here. Probably have a better range up here anyway, so that would be great. Rush the infantry over here so that the supply lines don't get mucked up with those guys. And, honestly, just start taking back some of this territory that they don't deserve. Uh, do that if you can. If we can finish this area off. Uh, great. God, I need to really disable my notifications. It really sucks sometimes. 
All right, let the infantry move in. Take the air base. Come down here if you can. Awesome. Our guys, our guys I think, will be doing just fine. Fort Maul, you got to give up sometime, man. You got a little bit of manpower left. Uh, hunt and destroy. Very nice. We need, could use more close air support agility and overall air superiority. And they're coming back this direction. So be it. You know, just give them a little extra boost. Like, I need you guys gone. Ew, we might get encircled. Uh, well, let's not do that. Yeah, do that. If we can just kind of hold them still. I might lose a division here, too. They're only infantry. They're not, like, extremely important. You know, they're just infantry. Just infantry. Uh, no. If I have to manually control you, so be it. Let's see. Come over here, to here, to here, to here. Ah, uh, snaking around. Gotta love it. Nice. I want you to come around here, to here, to here, to here. Wallop them. Oh, we got someone encircled there. That's not good. Coming to Spokane. I need you to up here. As long as we can break through to get some supply through here. That's oh, they cut off the supply. God dang it. That's really not good. Those guys will, will starve from supplies. Lack of supplies up there. I really hate the Brotherhood. I mean, I really hate them now. Get rid of Port Maw, then they're pretty much all screwed. Yeah, come down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. That would be great. Flare guns, nice. Better reinforce rate. Um, power armor defense, sounds good to me. I mean, really, the distraction was for my infantry to do whatever they need to do. And for everyone else to just kind of say, what's up? That's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's Encirclement City here. That's crazy. Yeah, they can't beat my power armor, so which is awesome. Infantry, just don't die. If some of you die, I'm I'm okay with that. If some of my infantry die, that's okay. We get more recruitable population and division defense on core territory. Very nice. Take Spokane if you can, because they can't have that. They're gonna be out of supplies, and I love that. Ooh, we got a couple divisions up here. Ah, <laughs> there's my snaky division. My snaky boy, we got another free military factory. You got some coffee here to drink. Mmm, delicious. Let's see. Yeah, I just want more gunships. I love gunships. Uh, but since I focus so hard on trying to take these losers out, stupid Port Mall people, um, let's go over some of the comments. So, uh, basically, someone wants me to, or Todd, wants me to swallow up all of these guys here. Like, swallow pretty much all the enemies that we have. Which makes sense. I'll probably end up just swallowing up everyone. I mean, that's just pretty much what we need to do. Oh, I'm done with engineering, so. That was my plan from the start. Just to swallow up everyone so they can't do anything against me. Which will be fun. Uh, I did not know if you get 100% legitimacy that you get... Uh, what do you call it? Even more stability. The more legitimacy you have, the more stability you'll get. Oh my goodness, just, just get rid of these guys, please. Ooh, come down here if you can. Ooh, woo. Do that. Do that, do that, do that. Do that. Come around here. Strike him in the butt. Do that, and then attack the power armor. Do that, and that, and then attack, attack the power armor. Uh, someone has asked me... Ooh, we took Port Ma, except we left one division out. You stop. You attack this way. But um, someone asked me if I sh would do a desert... Ranger or just Ranger campaign. Oh god, they got they're dead. They're gone. That's really really good. Okay. Good 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 good. So uh I don't have plans for doing a Desert Ranger campaign or anything like that. I have played as them. I did try them out. It was pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's my favorite faction. Um it's just you start off small and you can make yourself bigger and bigger and bigger, but I don't know. I might do that. I might not. Someone also told me to take out Hopeville and Ashton, which is down by New Vegas. Or what New Vegas originally was. So, Hopeville and Ashton. Honestly, someone brought up that it was part of the Fallout New Vegas DLC. And I'll be honest, I never played the deal. Not too much of the DLC, at least. I played very, very little of the DLC. When I played New Vegas, I actually played it on the worst system possible, which was a PS3. And I was going for the Plat Trophy, actually, this past year for it, so... 
I haven't played Lonesome Road. So which I know I'm a little bit of a heathen, but that's okay. Uh, half of you guys just get up to Capitol Hill. The other half, just take these guys out. Come on. Nice. Uh, let you guys go on ahead. Yeah, take these guys out. Get up back to our infantry up here. You guys are actually done, which is amazing. I need you actually back down here. And now the Washington Brotherhood will end up dying, which would be great. Cool, we're taking their factories. Awesome. Don't have a lot of supplies, though. Hmm, do I need anything? So, yeah, I never actually played Lonesome Road. A lot of the DLC for Fallout New Vegas. Uh, let's see. And by trophies, if you don't know what that means, that's just from, like, the achievements on play on PlayStation, basically. Salvage Fighters, that's okay. I'm not really using those, either. I just need more power armor and more goods to use for the power armor. Because everything costs metal. I have enough metal, but I need more electronics and advanced technology. Look, you know, can't go wrong with that. Free dockyards. Super heavy barge sailing ship. Let's go with another barge. And I wanted to put them in Gunderson Ranch. Nice. Oh, yeah. Get rid of these guys. They don't deserve to live. Alright, come on, Brotherhood. How close are you to capitulating? You're more than halfway. We took the capital for a little bit. We still have the capital. It's not like we it left. So, just take these guys out. And for you guys, you're making your way down here. Break out if you can. Army reserves. Nice. Let's go next with the Reform General Staff. How did thir 13 divisions are going by boat? Okay, I did not approve of this. But okay. Liberation of Seattle. The sun rises this morning over Seattle back in American hands for the first time in 200 years. The Brotherhood's headquarters in the Space Mule have been toppled by an airstrike, and surviving members of the cause are helping track down Brotherhood holdouts. And while the Broken Coast have asked for terms, the only thing we will give them is more bullets. More war support. Great. Uh, I do see that they might encircle me down here, so... I'm going to need to pop out some divisions immediately. Pop you guys out as well. Nice. New commander, Ulysses. Thank you. You can finally have to be used. You come up here. Four more divisions. Uh, just be added to here. Uh, I guess it's only three more right, right there. That's fine. So, cover this area up. And... Oh, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Come on, Power Armor. I need you to hurry up. Like, I need everyone moving. Like, even you need to be moving. I don't care if you get encircled or not. Uh, let's see. Really, I have just a bunch of factories, but... Come on, man. That, that looks good enough, I guess, for now. Four power armor divisions are getting rushed over there. That's fine. I have even more dockyards now, which I really don't need. Super heavy barge, sailing ship barge. Let's get some destroyers as well. Not really useful, though. Alright, don't... Why are you trading places, man? Come on. Particle Suns, you come up there, do that, do all that good stuff. And then there was you coming over here. Take this territory out. Come on, brother, you have to give up. Just end it. You're fighting for no reason. Alright, make your way up here, guys. Come on. Come on now. Come on, everybody. Also, uh, I did want to bring up that even though my subscriber base is vastly smaller on BitChute than YouTube... I still read your comments. I did read your comments earlier today concerning, like, earlier on in the campaign and whatnot. So I do read your comments, so no worries about that. Good. Just kill them all, you know. Kill them all and let God sort them out. You know, that type of deal. Awesome, awesome. White Legs was annexed by the Sky Reavers? was it? White legs? Grabber territory. Oh, grabber territory. Hello. Hello there. Oh, finally. Goodness. Goodness gracious. That took way too long. Three episodes to take these guys out. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm probably just going to take everything, to be honest with you. Uh, I had allies. Let's see. The Haida Confederation. Well, they're kind of over here. They don't deserve anything. Um, the Desert Rangers was actually part of this war as well, but they don't deserve anything either. They didn't fight anybody. And Kamult Station? I've got other plans for you, and honestly, it was mostly just me pushing hard, hard as hell into the enemy's territory with the limited resources that we have, or we had. So, thank you. 
thank God they're dead. Thank the freaking Lord. Okay, so we got a crap ton of factories now, which I'm actually happy about. So, we got to start thinking about more of our coast, which are doing okay. Add another unit there. I'm going to get rid of one more of these Enclave Auxiliaries because I'm going to focus a lot more on power armor. Like, I want, like, full stacks because now we're going to begin going for all these smaller territories and then the Western Brotherhood. Send courage to Bellingham. That'd be good. And we have 147. I don't mind if Eastport becomes a federal commonwealth. Let's do that, just in case things might go south. Because you never know, they might. Uh, I'm going to add the four extra divisions. I'm going to actually replace, give you three, make you a full stack. Put you over here. I'll put you over here as well. So all 24 divisions will come around here. And I will start to integrate a lot of the uh, colony territories, we'll say, into our system. Our, our country. United States, whatever. We got a crap ton of dockyards now. Uh, build me another one of these if you can. Obviously, you actually might be able to. Fort Gunderson, where are you? Oh, Gunderson Ranch, not Fort Gunderson. Just give me a lot of battleships, like super heavy battleships. I love super heavy battleships. And then give me another sailing one. That'd be great. Gunderson, and then give me some convoys. Because I only have 2,000, and that's never enough. Awesome. We actually won the war. I can't believe it took that long. And I'm even up here now. Jesus. Oh, we need power grids. So. Now I can send courier to Arroyo and other stuff. Washington Brotherhood expansion does not exist. Another vic... Okay, it's complete. Okay. Whew. That was going to worry me for a little bit there. So, war support not good. Stability is very nice, though. Let's go ahead. And how much electricity do I have? I have almost 300. Okay, I don't feel bad about this at all. I want to turn a lot of my states into cores, so we'll do three at a time, and then once all this extra repair stuff is done, I'm just going to core all this territory. I need a lot of manpower. Everything's going to have to get cored eventually, and I might run out of electricity. I hope not, but you never know. Look at all this territory. Beautiful. Delicious. We actually have a good chunk of the former states of Nevada. Oh, Nevada? What am I talking about? We already have part of Nevada. But we have uh, Oregon and Washington, which is awesome. I need Bellingham, though. Which will happen eventually. Oh, T-45D Power Armor Initiatives. All right. Defense, we're already doing. And this stuff is a little bit ahead of time, which I don't want to do just yet. Organization or reinforce rate? I'm going to go with organization. Awesome. Rebuild infrastructure. What books am I doing? Reform general staff. Nice. Not bad, not bad. So, next, military propaganda. Oh, we can do more military stuff. Let's see. We, we're running out of things to do down here. Uh, Nation Reborn wouldn't be bad. I do need to do Department of Education, but I want to core a lot of my territory first before I build up roads. Ooh, this, actually, you know what? I might just do Requisition of Resources, because I could really use more resources. A Nation Reborn. We're not quite reborn yet. Discrediting the desert... Let's do this, because I get... A war goal against the Desert Rangers. They leave their faction and they cannot join any other faction, which sounds amazing to me. So we got a couple of days for that to happen. Um, infantry, you guys, just kind of hang out near the Desert Rangers. Uh, some more infantry down here. Yeah, I really don't want to emphasize infantry too much. I would really, really like more, more power armor. Um, let's see, recon would be good. Uh, logistic companies would be good as well. Even though I will put them on my infantry, but I don't want that much more infantry. Oh well. Alright, so what's the next one we're going to do for political power? We're going to hold a military theory committee, wartime draft, less war support for a little bit more manpower. We're okay on manpower for now. We're still mobilizing, which is nice. Ooh, sponsored war movie. Ooh. We lose army XP, but for more weekly war support. Actually, that's kind of worth it in my opinion right now. Sponsored comedy for less war support, or for... About four weeks, we get a little bit more stability and legitimacy. Ooh, sponsor a patriotic movie. Ooh, I like that. Silence conspiracy theorists. I ah uh, ah. Uh, what is this YouTube? Anyways, uh, let's see. Send couriers to dredgers. Where's the dredgers? They're up here. I know that. Oh, they're up. He oh, I'm not even connected to them. Couriers to Cyclops tribes. Let's send a courier to Arroyo. Uh, well, let's wait on that. I want to get these smaller countries first. Let's do Bone Pickers Rejoin Society. So many factories. This is so nice. 
And we're rebuilding. I want to actually spend some factories to rebuild a lot of this territory that's been destroyed and have been part of the resistance. So, definitely want to do that. Uh, when I go to war with the Desert Rangers, we're going to need some more radar. We'll do that. And we're not building up more infrastructure. I'm, I'm going to leave that for a little bit. Alright, so I want to see what happens down here as we're going to get ready to go to war with the Desert Rangers. Ground support, thank you. Look at this. Up here. South Oregon, both of you come down here. Do that area. And then we're going to get some... Oh, another 100 gunships. Plop them onto him. Do we have any more fighters? Yes, we do. Salvaged fighters. Nuclear salvaged fighters sound like the best. Even though I haven't made anywhere near the number that I really want. And that's okay. Speed it up a little bit. Come down to Southern Nevada. Western Brotherhood, which will be a problem for me to take out because they have a crap ton of divisions and quite a bit of manpower, which is kind of scary to think about. But I think we'll be okay as long as I can keep pumping out more and more power armor divisions. So let's do that. Take another one off of there. Awesome. Support cause partisans. Nice. Masters of the Wasteland. Learning from each other. Hmm. Rebuilding the Pacific Northwest on the four states Commonwealth, which is Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. Or I do Portland, Seattle, and Columbia Rivers Dams. Yeah, let's do that one. That sounds pretty good for us to do. Mm, gotta love coffee, man. Nuclear Savage Fighter, the P-80 Nuclear. Oh, love it. Next, oh, ooh, almost missed a date there. Oh, almost missed a day of research. Some Then some people would have hated me. Oh, no. Cool. Are our guys down here? What is the strength of these guys? They've got a crap ton of divisions. I'm going to need my full army down here. Oh, actually, you're, they're pushing pretty hard into the Eastport. Oh, what happens be when they become a federal commonwealth, though? we got more defense. I love it. Um, screw it. Let's get more resources. And... They're my puppet now. Oh, actually. Ready to find power grid, the den. Um, connect a grid. Does this cost me anything? Requires one civilian power grid. More than enough electricity. Ah, connected to the grid. Nice. Wait, and uh, removing the grid will uncore the state. I got a little bit more power. Got a little more uh, manpower. Nice. Great. Puppet. Um, can I just... Oh, I'm... I'm guaranteeing them. I want to go to war with these guys because they're going to war with my puppet. Can I join your... You attack my puppet and I can't do anything about it? What is this? Doris? Yeah, I'll add Doris on here. Connect the grid. Nice. Yay, a little more power. Um, yeah, this is very weird. Well, let's see. The decisions for the courier Cyclops. Courier Cyclops tribes. Eastport joins the reunited states. And then I can just annex them. Oh, that'd be good. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. So I need all my power armor on the front line. I think that should be good enough maybe for these guys to defend, maybe not actually, you know what, I'm going to do this. You, and you. I know you're not very strong. I need another uh, field marshal. Nice, Horace Banks, hello. I can't get you yet, but you'll be down here soon enough. You're all going to be down here, and defend the living hell out of the area. You're going to do this, and then you guys are going to do that. Because we're going to go, war go to war with the Desert Rangers as soon as possible. Thomas Remy. Oh, you're adaptable. Even though I do need another field marshal, I just wasted some political power. I need about 15, probably. Oh, 23.22 point, point something to get Horace Banks. Nice. Do I have to wait? Nope, we have an infinite amount of time we can wait. These guys are really dead. Ooh. Religious companies, very nice. Get better recon, we're going to need that for our soldiers. Enclave Auxiliaries, you're going to need this probably, so that's good. They're pretty good on piercing. 53.2 piercing. Mmm, love it. Coast Guards. They should be doing pretty well. Uh, actually, we only 10 divisions of Coast Guards. I'm going to let time go on a little bit for right now. Let's see. 
Uh, the problem with the specific areas is there's just so much coast that has to be guarded, as well as the ports in general. So many ports. Oh my goodness. It, some might even say it's easier to defend the desert just because there's no ports there. Some might say that, but that's not me. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. You're too wet. You're too moist. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're, there's going to be so much crap we have to defend up here. Cool. Alright, so, next one. Uh, let's do a requisition of resources. We might lose a little bit of legitimacy, but I don't really care. Ooh, the Hartford Atomic Reactor. Dredging Portland's, Portland's Harbor. Ooh. The Trolls of the Warren. Reclaiming Seattle. North to Alaska. Well, I would like to do that. But right now, I need to save my political power so I can actually annex these little babies down here. Alright. Let's see. We ended one war earlier. And we're probably going to end up in another. Ooh, I'm going to need some more infrastructure right here. I know I shouldn't be doing this right now. But this is I definitely need this infrastructure, so. Do that as well. Uh, you know what? If I'm going to build infrastructure now. Do I have the... I don't have the guy that will give me even more infrastructure. Hmm. Do I do this now? We can do this now. That'd be fine. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I, this will come back to help me or not. But we'll see what happens. How fast we can build some infrastructure. I'm okay with that. Uh, we might need it down here too. Oh, I got... Oh, look at how many civilian factories I have. Oh, that's so amazing. And anywhere else I could build up infrastructure. East port. Eh, kind of a waste at the moment. Give me more metal. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on the button. And let's see how fast it can make me build infrastructure. Until June 29th. Or June 19th, I mean. So it's about less than two weeks. That's not bad. So, okay, the Brotherhood declared war on Xi. That's interesting. Very interesting. Xi, they probably dug in. They don't have a lot of manpower. They got a lot of divisions, though. Holy crap. Ooh, the portable radio. Very nice. Just do that ahead of time. I don't care at this point. Oh, you come actually come over here. Oh, you guys need to get trained a little bit more. Come on. Three. I, I will go to war with these guys as soon as we got good enough uh, infrastructure. Less war support. Break it up. God dang it. No. No. No free press. This is maybe trying to turn into a democracy, but no free press. Sponsor a railway, huh? North Alaska. I'd like to do this stuff, but I just want to annex... Uh, Ooh, but comes the federal commonwealth. Let's do that. They'll join me, which will be great. Is the infrastructure done? How many days we got for it? Oh, look at all this building. That's insane. We have 58 days left. I mean, I don't mind going to war as we're trying to build up infrastructure and whatnot as well. So, down here, we should be okay. Well, we might not be okay. Let's do let's rebuild some states. This is just kind of a test run. Actually, you know, we can go ahead and build up some more forts around here. Give me forts on that tile. Two divisions? Eh, they might not, ha might not have enough divisions to defend down here. Uh, ooh, you, get, you guys are almost done. And I will in the episode soon. Oh, good, thank God. Yeah, come, come over here and just go ahead and do that. That'll be great. Alright, infrastructure... 72% legitimacy. We're building like crazy. We're building like absolute crazy, people. We have less than 40 days for us to finish this off. Um, I want to see what happens with the atomic reactor, but I'm going to save that just because we are, in my mind, just running out of time. So we'll do that at the next episode. I just want to see how fast we can build <clears throat> infrastructure. Ooh, actually. I doubt we can build another one nearly as fast. Uh... Does any place have advanced electronics? Do that. Nice. We have 30 days. And then I'll probably end the episode. See how much legit legitimacy we have earned. Level 6. Nice. Connect to grid. Oh, it's already connected. Good, good, good. Connected to grid. Oh, th this is not... Yeah, because we're not building up anything too much. Come on. 
Level 7 is not bad. And the Supreme Court enjoys requisitions in the groundbreaking case Crimson Caravan versus the California Reconstruction Authority. The Supreme Court has affirmed the pre-war principle that the government cannot confiscate private property without adequate compensation. This may hinder the government's plan for reconstruction, but has been hailed by the New World Party as a tremendous victory for the rights of every American. So I lose stability, which is okay, and I lose resources, which sucks. Wait, the court can rule against the government? The court has made its ruling, the government now let it enforce it. Which means, if I do this... I become presidential dictatorship, which hurts me greatly. God freaking dang it. Um, send couriers, send couriers. Ooh, give me Bellingham, yeah. I need Bellingham just because that gives me access to my territory up here. So, we built the four states. Awesome. Nation reborn. I am purposely not doing some stuff. So, Bishop Incident. Incidents. Uh, lose stability. Double bonus for land auction, which would be a waste. Or old Roman officers for more stability. Army XP, and we get another commanding officer. Nice. Ground support integration. More ground support. She is really giving them a run for their money. They're not even able to advance anywhere. She, how is your no manpower on scraping the barrel? You guys? Ooh, baby. Uh, we're still waiting. We're almost done. One day? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Holy crap, that's a lot of legitimacy. That's a crap ton of legitimacy. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, well, we actually have another military factory to spend as well. And less resources to use. God dang it. But with that in mind, everyone, thank you very much for watching. That is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We finally were able to take out the god dang Washington Brotherhood. But we have basically made ourselves into the most powerful faction, maybe except for Kaiser's Legion or the Western Brotherhood, on the planet. Or at least the continent. So with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. I will see you tomorrow as we go to war with the Desert Rangers. And begin to... Oh, we annex these guys. Annex and puppet more little boys. Thanks for watching.